Once upon a time, in the bustling streets of Brooklyn, New York, lived a young girl named Nix Marie Brown. She was a quiet and shy seven-year-old, with deep, curious eyes that seemed to hold the weight of the world. Nix Marie's life was far from easy. She lived in a cramped apartment with her parents and several siblings, all struggling to make ends meet. Nix Marie's father, Cesar Rodriguez, was a stern and imposing figure, while her mother, Nixalis Santiago, appeared worn down by the challenges of their life. Despite the hardships, Nix Marie had dreams. She dreamed of going to school without fear, of having enough to eat, and of feeling safe and loved. One winter's night, as the cold winds howled through the narrow streets, tragedy struck the Brown family. Nix Marie's father, fueled by anger and frustration, unleashed a torrent of abuse upon her. The little girl's cries for help echoed through the walls of their apartment, unheard by neighbors who had learned to turn a blind eye to the struggles of those around them. Days turned into weeks, and Nix Marie's situation grew more dire. Her father's rage seemed unrelenting, and her mother's fear kept her silent. The young girl's body began to bear the bruises and scars of her father's violence, and her spirit grew weaker with each passing day. As the new year dawned, Nix Marie's fate took a tragic turn. On a cold January morning, her lifeless body was discovered in the family's apartment. The news sent shockwaves through the community and beyond, shining a harsh spotlight on the failures of the system meant to protect vulnerable children. The city of New York was left reeling in the wake of Nix Marie's death. Questions were raised about how such a tragedy could have occurred under the watchful eyes of teachers, neighbors, and social workers. The heartbreaking truth was that Nix Marie's pleas for help had gone unheard, her suffering unnoticed by those who could have made a difference. The public outcry that followed Nix Marie's death was a wake-up call. It exposed the cracks in a system that was meant to safeguard children from abuse and neglect. The city was forced to confront uncomfortable truths about poverty, neglect, and the ways in which society had failed its most vulnerable members. Nix Marie's story became a rallying cry for change. Advocates and lawmakers pushed for reforms to ensure that no child would ever have to endure what she had suffered. New laws were enacted, resources were allocated, and a renewed commitment to protecting children was born. In the years that followed, Nix Marie's legacy lived on. Her name became synonymous with the fight against child abuse, a reminder that every child's voice deserves to be heard. Schools implemented programs to educate children about their rights and how to seek help, while social workers received better training to identify signs of abuse and neglect. Nix Marie's family, too, found themselves on a path of redemption. Her mother, Nixalise, became an advocate for domestic violence survivors, using her own painful experience to help others break free from the cycle of abuse. Nix Marie's father, Caesar, faced justice for his unspeakable actions and was held accountable for the life he had stolen. As the years went by, the memory of Nix Marie Brown continued to inspire change. Her story served as a constant reminder that the collective efforts of a community could bring about meaningful transformation. The city of New York, once marred by the tragedy of her death, became a beacon of hope and resilience, a place where every child's well-being was valued above all else. And so, the story of Nix Marie Brown became more than a tale of heartbreak and loss. It became a story of strength, of unity, and of the unwavering belief that a better future was possible for every child, no matter their circumstances. Nix Marie's light may have been extinguished far too soon, but her legacy illuminated the path toward a safer, more compassionate world for generations to come.